Hello guys, my name is Bonnie and Clyde and today I will show you how to install Joomla in a very quick way. I know my English is not the very best, but I think everybody can understand what I'd like to explain. First of all, we need a web space. I take my web space by beplaced.net. I know that this is a German provider, but I think it's nearly the same on your provider. How does it work? First of all, you have to register with your provider and then you have to create a MySQL database. And here I can create it. I have to choose a password and press the create button. And here I get all the information. The data uh, database name is Bonnie and Clyde 201. The username is Bonnie and Clyde 201 and the password I created now. Next step is to download the latest Joomla version from Joomla.org. Uh, the links I post in the video description below the video. Uh, press here the download button and press here the download button. I have already downloaded it before so I can cancel this. And the next thing is we need Akiba Kickstart for the very quick upload from these files from Joomla. So visit this link akibabackup.com, Akiba Kickstart and press here the download button. The latest version is the 3.8.0 and below you will see the button where standing take me to the downloads for this version and here you can download the kickstart core file. This I have already downloaded before and so I can cancel it. I close these two web pages and here are the files, the Joomla full package and the kickstart core. Before we upload the Joomla package, we have to extract two files from this archive. So we open the kickstart core and search for the kickstart PHP and the second file is the English uh, language and extract also here. Close this. Now we have to open our FTP program, connect to the server. Here it is already connected. On the left side you see your PC. On the right side you see the server. I switch to the desktop, search for the folder and here we find the English pack, the Joomla and the kickstart.php and these three files we transfer to the server. And now you will see it's much quicker than uh, the upload from 5000 or more files. After that we have just to extract the files on our server and then we can start to install the Joomla. So now it's finished. The English file, the kickstart.php and the Joomla archive. Now we open our new website, not Bonnie and Clyde, this is a different one. That is the right and after the slash rewrite kick, kickstart.php Close the first message. Here you can choose your archive file and the last step means that you have you extract now the files from the archive to your server. And that is much quicker than the regular upload from more than 5000 files. Now you can press the button to run the installer. Here but first I change to English. English. So here you see we changed the language, the installation language. English, United States. Here we have to enter the site name. I choose now for that Joomla 3.2.1 EN. Here you can enter a description for your site. Then you have to fill in an admin email address, admin username, admin password and again the password. And the let's last step on this page is uh, we get asked if the site should be offline after the installation, yes or no. I say here no and press the next button. Here we are in the database configuration. We have to change the database type because um, be placed that it was a MySQL and not a MySQLi database so we have to change this to MySQL 
that is right the host name is localhost the username we can find here Pony and Clyde 201 the password for the database and the database name is the same in this case like the username table prefix is okay and here we get asked if all databases uh, should backup or removed. That is a new database and I don't have to backup anything so I say remove everything. And if I click to the next button the installation program checks if the database is reachable or not. If you get here an error message um, please check this status if everything is correct or not. It works. So I got uh, I go to the next step overview. Here we get asked if we like to install sample data. I always choose known because for new Joomla users it is sometimes confusing. So I choose here an empty page, no sample data. Here you see the email configuration. Send the configuration settings to test at gmx.de by email after installation, yes or no. And if you say yes, should the installation program include the passwords in the email, yes or no. For security reason, you should choose here no. And here I press also the no button because this email address was a fake email. The main configuration you can uh, check here everything the site name if the site name is correct here uh, should the site be offline no the admin email address if the can uh, check here if it is correct also the username here you see the database configuration the database type is mysql the host name is localhost the username the password database name table prefix and all databases uh, should be removed. Pre-installation check, everything is green, that is perfect, and here the recommended settings. You see here a yellow field, that means that uh, we get displayed errors, and that is on. It's okay, it's not so bad. So now we can press the install button, and here we get the green message congratulations Joomla is now installed and there are now one thing we have to look for we have to re remove the installation ordner I will show you in the FTP program how it looks this ordner should be removed also we have to remove the stable full package and the kickstart PHP and also the language file we can remove from the server. We try to press the remove install installation folder button. So we refresh this and now it works. Installation folder successfully removed but always check with the FTP program if it is re really removed. Here you can see it. I, re I refresh the, the server and the installation folder is gone but now we have to delete by hand the kickstart.php these three files we uploaded before just click the delete button say yes and everything is fine then we see here two different buttons the first button is for the front end and the second button for the back end I will open now both here you can see here you can see your brand new Joomla 3.2.1 installation. It's very naked at the moment, but we will change this in the next videos. And here you get to the backend login. Get asked for the username, the password we choose before in the inst in the installation, and it looks like this the backend. In the next video I will show you how to install the two-factor authentication without a Google Plus account. I hope you enjoy this video and if there are any problems please post below the video in the comments. I try to answer you fast as possible. I wish you a great day and I hope we will see us soon. Bye!